Tom Thumbs a larynx. In 2017, Australian B8 boxer Tom Thumb said ah, and let doctors look at his throat. More precisely, he allowed a camera to slither up his nose and down his throat. Then he made a bunch of noises so that the team could see his vocal cords do their thing. The view was not for kids, lunchtime or anyone with a sensitive stomach. The footage of the camera going up the nose and past the soft palate was gross enough. However, for those who could keep watching, it became clear how versatile the human larynx really is. Most of the noises created by the tongue's movements started at the top of Tom's soft palate against the mouth's roof. Then, twisting into freaky looking shapes, the tissues of the larynx also moved to help form different sounds. Some squeezed like mad while others shivered, flattened, lifted or pulled. As remarkable as this design was, the footage remained far from pretty. A bite-induced explosion. Thanks to one man, iPhone users now know not to bite batteries. Although the logic is obvious, this customer learned his lesson the hard way. In 2018, there was a rush after Apple users realized they had to replace their batteries. Apple was giving a discount to anyone who had an iPhone 6 or any model after that. The offer came after the company admitted to slowing these devices to stretch out battery life. Since the response was positive, a veritable stampede occurred, some people ended up on long waiting lists. Those who found the idea of waiting for weeks unacceptable turned to third party providers. The problem with that avenue included fake iPhone batteries. This thought was apparently the main concern of the unnamed man who entered a Chinese store that sold electronics. He eventually found what he was looking for. Like some people bite coins to test their authenticity, he chomped down to make sure he was getting a genuine iPhone part. The battery exploded. Remarkably, the man was unharmed. But his dignity might suffer forever. The whole thing was caught on the store security camera and uploaded to the internet. Declassified Nuclear Tests from 1945 to 1962, around 10,000 films were shot of nuclear tests. They recorded the U.S. detonating devices both underground and on the surface. Most of these reels languished for decades in high security storage. In 2017, 6,500 were recovered by the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory LLNL. For years afterward, researchers battled against time to digitalize the historic footage. All of them were on the verge of decomposing beyond repair.